My name is Marika Richmond and this is Sandra Jacob. And we're here with Mr. David Cookshank. And it's a pleasure to have you here, sir. Yeah, it's great to be here. Good morning um, to you. <laughs> here at Harris Academy of Emergency, we have um, a mentoring program. So people from different business organisations come in and have a one-to-one -one session with students to help them achieve their full potential. And this week is known as um, Visit Our School Week, and it's a programme that encourages partnership between schools and businesses. The aim is to motivate young pe pe people to achieve the best of our potential. So hopefully you could give us some tips on how to be successful. <laughs> <laughs> um, tips to be successful. No, it's great to be here. And I think the Visit the Schools Week, I think there are something like six or seven hundred people from business visiting six or seven hundred schools around the country. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a big, quite a big program. Um, <laughs> tips on how to be successful. I, I think you've not got to let anybody say you can't do something. I think that's the big thing. I think everybody that I know has been successful was told sometime in their career, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And they never accepted that as an answer. So they all said, well, I uh, want to do that. I will work hard and I will, that's my aim. That's mm -hmm. my dream. That's what I want to do. So okay. I think don't let people tell you, you can't do it. Okay, be stubborn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what does the company Deloitte do? We, um, Deloitte is a um, professional services firm, so we are accountants, we mm -hmm. advise on tax, we are consultants, we advise mostly companies um, on how to uh, control themselves, um, how to regulate themselves. When they want to do acquisitions or disposals, we advise them on how to do it. Mm -hmm. So all the financial aspects of companies we, we advise on. We also advise governments, so uh, when governments want to change some of their organizations we advise them on that we advise in the olympics so we yeah, um we're yes. providing uh i think we've got about 60 people working on the olympic delivery yeah. team at the moment and that's been really exciting in our place everybody's very excited yeah. about that and that's advising on everything from quite basic accounting books you know records of uh, money and that yeah. sort of thing right through to setting up um, yeah, organisational structures and all the rest of it. So, so we do we do lots of different things. We've got about in London we have about uh, seven thousand people. I know about twelve thousand people in the UK in total. So it's quite quite a few quite a yeah. few people in London. <laughs> exactly. so, yeah, quite yeah. A lot. Not too far from here, just over up, just off Fleet Street. So you, have, well. you have many um, kind of um, offices around. We do. Um, and we have. They're they're all they're all just around Fleet Street. So we have five offices just behind Fleet Street. So okay. we're, we're, we're we're centered yeah. around there, and then we have about. Um, and other 20 offices around the rest of the UK. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but London's, London's the biggest office by far. You're, you're the CEO of the company. I'm a chairman of the you're company. The chairman. Chairman. Okay. Yeah. What is your job, bro? What do you do? What do I do? That's a good All my colleagues ask me, what do I do as well? <laughs> actually, uh, that's a very good question. Uh, what do I do? Well, I, 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 um, I chair our board, which is um, a board of partners that oversees everything that we do to make sure we do everything right and mm -hmm. that we. Uh, um, that we uh, everything's governed in a proper way. You you have a board here that looks after your school, so it's like it's like that board. Um, I also advise a number of clients, and so I have a group of three or four clients that I advise. Um, I also deal with a lot of people issues in our firm. So if, uh, if partners or other people have issues or problems, I speak to them about them and try and find answers. So I spend a lot of time with our people as well. So those are my, my main roles. Do you um, do you have like the interviews? Do you t have any interviews with new recruiting staff? Like to... we used to. They don't let me do it anymore because I'm too oh. old. Oh. But, but I used to. I used to. I used to be involved in until I was in my mid thirties. I used to be allowed to interview new staff and. And, uh, um, but we recruit. I think we recruit something like twelve hundred people a year. So we do a lot of lot of recruiting. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And so, do you find your job demanding, like stressful? Um, I I enjoy it, and so I don't <coughs> find it stressful. I find it tiring sometimes, but I don't find it stressful because I enjoy it. And I think that's another thing I'd say as a tip for success. I think you've got to you've got to find an area that you think you're going to really enjoy because I think people, if they find activities, businesses, uh, occupations that they really enjoy, then they really do it well. And then there's no stress. Not not no stress, but there's very little stress. People get tired, but not stressed. <laughs> People get stressed if they're doing things they don't like doing. Yeah, because someone have to do it. But it's yeah, really but they to have to do it. it and yeah. they get stressed out because it's um, all they want to be doing. Say I wanted to be 
in your business? Like, what qualifications would I need? Um, depends what bit of our business um, you to do to become an auditor or a tax advisor or an accountant. Uh, you have to go to university and you have to get a good degree, um, and you have to get good good A levels. Um, we have many other areas. Um, in marketing, HR, where um, yeah, we recruit at school leaver level, so just a good good balanced set of GCSEs mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, and A levels. So um, we recruit at lots of different levels. We should go apply, Sandra. What, what's yeah. your age range? <laughs> your age range from what to what? Um, most of our people join after university, so um, I would say most start about 22, okay. 21, 22, yeah, okay. and then go on. But we have some people who are school leavers as well. Okay. So. Um, obviously, you've told us about your youth sponsoring the Olympics. Yeah. So, what do you aim to get out of it? It's a very good question. What do we aim to get out of it? Um, we did it because we thought from all the feedback we had from our people that our people would like it and enjoy it and enjoy working on it and like to be part of the Olympic endeavour because it's, it's, it's early days yet but as we get closer to the Olympics I think the whole of London will get very excited by yeah. it because the whole city will come alive and uh, um, so we thought it'd be really good for our people. That was that was the main reason, really. And you know, the things that the Olympics wanted us to do, they wanted us to help them um, raise money, help them uh, keep their their books and records, and uh, mm -hmm. and help them organise themselves. So we did that as well. We were good at that sort of thing. So, uh, but but mostly, it's our people enjoy working on it, and all okay. our people enjoy the fact that we're involved in it. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Be, we're very excited. Yeah. It's going to be. Yeah, you will be. I mean, too. It'll be great. Even, even if you're not involved directly, I think the whole city will come alive, and there'll be yeah. so much going on. So, yeah. even though tickets, even in our place, it's going to. We can hardly get any tickets. So, so uh, been to see the construction site. Yeah. So it's coming on really good. I it. Have yeah. you? Yeah. It's, it's really fabulous. It's all. It's yeah. all coming on to plan, and there's a whole development nearby with Westfield, the, the shopping oh, yeah, centre, yeah. which is absolutely massive. And, and in my area, I live like in Hackney, Shoreditch area. Right. There's like all the new tube stations. And train stations and overground. It's, it's really all very smart. Really Stratford, the station, the tube station, and these yeah, are very it's smart, amazing. actually. Yeah. It's fabulous, actually, because it was a lot of it was just disused land. I think it was some of it was railway sidings that weren't being used, mm -hmm. so it's, uh, it's yeah. incredible. It's yeah. all it's all going to plan and all going to yeah. budget, so... I think it's good. I'm going to move there just to see. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be able to get up there. I mean, it's not that far from here. Yeah, but, uh, um, are you going to be there, like, in the main... Well, that's it. No, I said. I mean, I think people think one of the reasons we sponsor it was we get tickets. You know, we've 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 hardly got any tickets at all because uh, I think the other thing we sponsor, which um, we we we've done for a long time, is the Paralympics. So for disabled people, and uh, oh. I think there will be more tickets for everybody available for the Paralympics ones. And mm -hmm. we we actually sponsor a number of the Paralympians who were in China and then in Vancouver and you know, all the all the Olympic events. And so we, I think for us, the Paralympics will be a big event as well. And we've got quite a lot of ongoing stuff with the Paralympics. Olympics GB. So, do you travel a lot? Do I travel a lot? Um, I am going after this meeting today to Amsterdam oh. for, oh, a, wow. for a, for a two-day global board meeting. Um, I, I, when I was in my twenties, the travelling was great fun. Now it just becomes a bit of a pain. So, oh, so you've been doing this for quite a long time. How, yeah. how long have you been? Doing uh, I've been in our company for. 30 years so it's a long time oh, wow. very unusual these days I think most people now when they're looking at jobs you know when I when I went out to school I thought you know you go to somewhere you work forever in the same place but I the job market's changed a lot now mm -hmm. so most yeah. of our younger people who work for us don't stay all the time you know they, they go and do other things they train with us and then they go and do other things afterwards so I'm, I'm probably unusual